And Captain, have you managed to withstand Bethesda's update onslaught? I've had a few plugins break, but I think I've held up reasonably well. However, even in this urgent situation, I've brought some must-have new mods that I believe will be of help to you. I'm sure you'll find them to your liking, Captain. Let's not waste any time and dive right in. I'm glad to introduce Baka Quick Full Saves to you first. This mod is special because it replaces Starfield's quick save function with a regular save. Quick saves in Bethesda games have been a topic of controversy for a long time. Many users have complained about quick save files getting corrupted, causing inconvenience. Seasoned players have always attempted to disable this quick save feature for this reason. With Baka Quick Full Saves, you can now deactivate quick saves and utilize regular saves. Pressing the quick save key will activate a regular save instead. The mod I'm about to introduce is truly astonishing. It's called Streamline Native, a new upscaling mod that integrates Starfield's engine code with NVIDIA's frame generation, DLSS, and reflex technologies. What sets this mod apart from other upscalers is its diverse settings menu. Through this menu, you can select DLSS quality presets and choose various options based on your preferred frame rate cap. Moreover, the installation process is straightforward and it operates smoothly. In my experience, it's been the most convenient and effective upscaler for Starfield. I highly recommend it to all of you. The mod I'm about to introduce will make things more convenient for you. It's called Faster Furniture Animations, and it speeds up the animations when using furniture. For example, sitting on a chair, crafting items at a workbench, or entering a cockpit can all have their animation speeds adjusted. This mod provides an faux mod installer that allows you to choose from various speed scales, so you can install it with the option that suits you best. Next, let's introduce the upscaling fix FSR DLSS XSS. This mod is designed to enhance AMD's provided FSR2 upscaling technology, as well as complement NVIDIA's DLSS and Intel's XESS upscaling technologies. Users have reported that after installing this mod, Textures in areas with dense foliage, such as fields with a lot of grass, appear even sharper. However, it's worth noting that the perceived impact of this mod may vary from player to player, so it's recommended to decide on its use after thorough testing. Next up is Hold to Equip Extended. This SFSE plugin extends the default Hold to equip functionality for items like food, books, and materials. With this feature, you can consume food or use materials immediately without picking them up, and you can read books without picking them up as well. While currently comprised of an SFSE plugin, there's potential for it to become an even more innovative mode if animations are integrated in the future. Keep an eye on this one. The mod I'm introducing this time is very useful. It's called Better Alt Tab at Starfield. This mod prevents the game from pausing or becoming inactive when you use the Alt Tab key in Starfield. With this, you can use Alt Tab to search the internet or do other tasks on your computer even while the game is loading. This way, the game will still be running, allowing you to alleviate the tedium of loading. The mod I'm introducing this time is Height Randomizer SFSE. This mod provides a function to randomly adjust the height of NPCs. This ensures that the height of NPCs remains consistent across save files and playthroughs. Additionally, you can customize the height distribution as per your preferences through the INI file. You have the option to set the maximum height change or adjust the average height based on gender, allowing for a variety of configurations. With this plugin, you can make Starfield more realistically diverse. 
The mod I'm introducing this time is Enhanced Subtitles. This mod improves the in-game subtitles and allows for customization according to the user's preferences. It widens the default display range of subtitles, removes the black background, and adds a slight shadow effect to the text for improved readability. Additionally, through the INI file, users have the freedom to adjust all elements, including text size, spacing, color, shadow, and background. This way, you can personalize the subtitles to align with your preferences. The mod I'm introducing this time is ADS FOV Removed. In the vanilla version, when aiming with a weapon, the field of view FOV narrows a bit. However, this mod eliminates the screen zooming in when aiming. This provides a more natural feeling while aiming. If you believe that removing the FOV reduction feature when aiming aligns with your preferences, I recommend giving this mod a try. Next up, I'll introduce a plugin that can reduce your Starfield's loading times and improve the game's performance. It's called Disk Cache Enabler, a mod that allows the game to utilize the operating system's file cache when reading files, thereby reducing disk access. This is especially effective when running the game on an HDD. If you're suffering from long loading times, I recommend giving Disk Cache Enabler a try. Next, let me introduce you to Baka Disable My Games folder. This mod prevents the game from using the data folder in the documents directory, and instead, it utilizes the data folder in the game's root directory. This makes mod installation simpler and maintains consistency with other Bethesda Game Studios games. Additionally, this mod also changes the paths of today's message and the photo gallery mod from the documents folder to the game's root folder. If you're using a mod organizer, this may not be necessary, but for other players, I recommend giving this plugin a try. This time, I'd like to introduce the No Limit mod series that has been gaining attention on Test Nexus. First off, we have No Reactor Limit. This mod removes the original restriction of only being able to install one reactor. This means you can add as many reactors as you want. Next is No Shield Limit. This mod removes the limit on the number of shields the player can equip on their spaceship. Thirdly, there's No Minimum Landing Gear. This mod eliminates the weight limit of landing gear, allowing you to add as few as you like. By default, ships and shuttles come with landing gear, so you can land them adequately without adding more. Fourth on the list is No Reactor Class Requirement. This mod does away with the grade requirement for reactors. In other words, you can use an A-grade reactor along with B-C-grade components. Fifthly, we have No Engine Power Limits. This mod removes the maximum limit on engines that can be installed on spaceships in the game. Essentially, you can attach as many engines as you desire. Sixth, there's no weapon power or count limits. With this mod, you can add as much power as you want to your spaceship weapons. However, the types of weapons are limited to three. Seventh is no grav drive weight limit. This mod removes the weight limit on grav drive, a space propulsion method that bends space to travel long distances using quantum gravity effects. Normally, there's a weight limit on grav drive, preventing very heavy spaceships from performing grav jumps. This mod removes that restriction, allowing any spaceship to perform as many grav jumps as desired. Lastly, we have Ignore Skill Challenge Cheat. This plugin allows you to bypass the challenges required to level up skills. This way, you can enhance your desired skills without any challenges. However, please be cautious when using these plugins as they can potentially disrupt the game's balance. Thank you for joining us in exploring these 20 must-have new Starfield mods to enhance your performance and gameplay. We hope you found these mods as exciting as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell for more Starfield content. Until next time, happy gaming among the stars.